first, the blue corner. At five foot seven, weighing in 170.2 pounds, his professional record, 11 wins, five losses from La Mezzia Terme, Calabria, Italia, Danelli, the cyborg, Michelli. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot ten, weighing in 170.2 pounds. The former world title challenger holds 13 professional victories, eight losses, one draw. Proudly fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, Peter, the show stopper. in charge, Blake Rice. So tonight, the 38-year-old Peter Queerly wants to remind everyone how good he can be when he's not injured, and he, when he, he told us when he can actually train. Daniele Michelli is going to try to derail the comeback train of Queerly. They touch gloves, and we are underway. The first of three rounds in the Bellator welterweight division. And again, John, our job being made easy by the crowd here in Dublin. Oh, nice. immediately, Michelli attacking the lead leg of Queerly. Big time kick, but he also oh, yeah. the second one up. It was just bad timing. I think his toe actually went into the eye. Well, Kat, Kat Gano will not want to uh, be You're watching exactly that. Right. And she, of course, getting ready to challenge Cyborg at Bellator 300. Oh, here we go, though. Man, what a... You can watch what happens here. He gets the low kick. Takes Peter Queely off of his feet. It's well done, but then launches oh, that where the toes just scrape by on the left eye of Peter Queely. Now, the one thing that can be done now, Morrow, is the... Cut man, you see him coming in the cage. Mm -hmm. He can actually work on that cut now under the unified rules to be able to stop with that. How long and how as blood, long is it? How long will they the be five, minutes five minutes of time of that he has to take to try to see if he can clear his eye if there his eye is affected? Updates to the unified rules. This is one of the brand new ones that just occurred. Is this update of you can bring a cut man in now. Obviously, if the doctor stops the fight, there's nothing you're going to do. Right. Let's but see if we can listen to see what the doctor and the cut man might be saying. Peter Queeley looks dejected. I think it's. I, I don't think he intended to cause that foul. He threw it. I think it was a mistake. I don't think it was an intentional foul. I'm going to go unintentional. All right, guys. The fight's over. Referee Blake to Rice forced to uh, wave off the fight, John. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, it's that Peter Queely can't see out of his eye. His eye is not opening up. You know, they were trying to look at the, the eye, and they couldn't even open his eye up. So you can't put a fighter back in that's one-eyed based upon, you know, a foul. That Peter Queely is crushed, and I can understand why, but this is what happens sometimes in fighting. Now you can see his eyes open there, but the doctor did not let him go on in the fight. He thinks there's injury to the eye, and that's the right thing for the doctor to do. And after that incredible entrance, yeah. the crowd ready yeah. to enjoy two a kicks. Peter Quilly fight. Two kicks is right, one, John. One, one, the, one legal and one not. One legal and one you know, slicing and, across and, his eye. And and you can see right away. Yes, Michelli did Michelli not. Michelli knew exactly. Oh, I, I apologize. He stopped. It's just he was going after him. He sees the opportunity. He thinks he's starting to get up, and boom just slices you know that happened in ufc one if you want to go all the way back trent jenkins put a cut on uh delucia and you jason delucia and you look and you go this is this still happens today and there's nothing you can and do we about mentioned it this Ngano situation yeah. and other fights where that's in gano with, uh, against uh, and megan anderson uh and not with the kick but remember vitor belford randy couture the the the, the eyelid the slice i mean it injuries happen These unfortunately happen. it's it's, you know, costed the fans, cost the fans here the fight, and Peter Quilly unable to continue. Let's uh, make it official with Michael C. Williams.
Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, we had a kick to the head of a downed opponent. That illegal strike has been ruled unintentional. Therefore, at the time of 26 seconds into round number one, we have a no contest. In less than half a minute, fight is ruled a no contest. Michelli showing, you know, he's apologizing. He did not intend to, not, no one intended to have this happen, but, and I'm not trying to be glib by any stretch of the imagination, but man, Peter Quilly with anything but the luck of the Irish recently, John, with everything that's happened with injuries and, and, and those losses, those hard losses, this is not how he anticipated to move up to 170 going tonight. No, and he, he was looking to put on a performance. He talked about it, that he could not wait to get in the cage at 170 pounds and perform in front of the people that come to support him. And you can see he's got a ton. And unfortunately, you know, right at the beginning of the fight, this happens. But it's part of, you know, the sport. You don't want to put a guy who has one injured eye back in when it was done on a foul.